Okay guys, this video we're going to do an update on Genius Brand. So the stock is broken out past a key resistance level and it's trading at around $1.74 as I'm recording this video. So I just wanted to make a quick update to you guys on what's been going on with Genius Brands. It's been a huge roller coaster ever since this stock kind of shot up. So I'm going to give you my new technical analysis. So here we so here we are on trading view and as we can see here the stock is simply was sitting at a key resistance level of a dollar and seventy cents and it broke out past this resistance level and now it looks like it's headed towards two dollars and one of the reasons is, is i think that um shaquille o'neal's kind of um emergence uh in the genius brands kind of long-term plan with the launch of his cartoon coming in 2022 called shaq's garage i think that's going to add a lot of legitimacy to this company i'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about that right now so what i'm currently on is i'm currently on uh i'm actually signed up for this live investor conference called ld micro micro investor conference where they cover a lot of kind of smaller cap stocks and micro cap stocks and shaq is actually coming on on later today depending on when you guys are watching this video, but he's coming on December 14th at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to talk more about uh, Shaq's Garage, which is another cartoon that's planned by Genius Brands. So I think this is just a phenomenal move to get more attention for the Genius Brands platform and more importantly, the Genius Brands stock because Shaq invests, he is an investor. I believe Shaq bought warrants in Genius Brands stock at around $1.55. So obviously he has a financial incentive for the stock to do well. And if you guys are shareholders, full disclosure, I am a shareholder in Genius Brands. Uh, we have, uh, you know, an incentive to do well too. So now, I think that's a huge catalyst. So now looking back at this stock chart. So if we take a look back here, we kind of back up a couple of months or so. We can see that the stock has been pretty choppy. And I talked a lot about when the stock was a dollar and people said, oh, it was going to be delisted. Oh, this stock is worthless. I say, guys, you know, it's very, very, you know, very often you'll see companies where people are going through cycles of euphoria about the stock going higher and then fear about the stock crashing. But, you know, as we can take here, we take a look back at the year to date chart. There's a reason why this stock skied up that high. You know, there's a reason why it gapped up so big, because a lot of people were definitely, you know, expecting great things for this company. But when, you know, a lot of uh, investors and traders kind of left the party and the stock crashed, a lot of people were sitting there saying, oh, you know, I'm holding major losses and things like that. What should I do? And the important thing to realize is, is that this was just a greed run up. So, you know, the company wasn't making any profits and the, the Cartoon Channel app didn't even launch until June 15th. They didn't have time to distribute the app across major platforms and major smart TVs and, and through even Android and, um, you know, the, the, the Apple Store. So, you know, just because that this price shot up and perhaps you had bought up here or even here doesn't mean that in the long run you're going to end up losing money. And like I said, I saw a similar chart with NEO. NEO stock, it shot up on huge uh, buyer's interest before the company had been, been delivering vehicles and then the stock kind of consolidated here. And then as you can see, NEO has run up to, you know, around $40 or higher. And I expect the same thing for Genius Brands. So like I said, guys, obviously, you know, I'm not 100% right all of the time. I could be wrong, but I think that if Genius Brands follows kind of the same course that I predicted that this is going to be a $10 to $20 stock in the future, uh, it'll be very sweet to kind of be right on this one because a lot of you guys have been flaming me in the comments for posting videos on Genius Brands saying that it, I was wasting my time with this one. But I feel like the, the ability to get this company at a market cap below 500 million dollars at just under two dollars a share it's just too cheap and just too attractive of a price so obviously i'm not putting all of my money in genius brand stock i never put more than 10 to 20 percent of any of my money in any one company call me a little bit risk averse and i know some of you guys out there you might be holding uh portfolios where you have 60 70 80 percent of your money in any one stock and that's probably good if you're looking for super aggressive gains but like i said i would like to just um you know have a little bit more safety in my portfolio because you know with all of the kind of you know scandals running around nowadays and people fabricating financial reports and companies doing massive offerings i just think it's a little bit easier for me to only have 10 to 20 percent of my stake but like i said i have well over uh, a thousand shares of genius brands and i feel that you know that is definitely 
um, you know, a big enough stake. I can always add to it more later, guys. I'm a big proponent of not just buying a lump sum, but actually adding to the stake over time. So like I said, uh, once if it breaks out past the key support level, maybe next year I'll probably add more to my position. But right now I'm pretty comfortable. So now here are a couple of the catalysts that I'm looking at. So if we kind of take a look at this one month chart. Okay, we take a look at this one month chart, we can see that over the past month, we're actually up 42% on the stock, which is amazing, considering that a lot of other stocks, mainly a lot of these EV stocks over the last 30 days or so, they've experienced. So I'm really happy on what Genius Brands has done. I, um, Hopefully, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys were buying when it was just around $1, when it was just near that NASDAQ delisting moment. And now I think with the addition of Shaquille O'Neal on um, the on the roster now, you know, joining the company and becoming an investor in the company and also a content creator in the company, I think that once we see $2, um, it's just three, four, five, six, and the, the the app will slowly be cranking up. And one thing that a lot of people haven't talked about Genius Brands is that com, that Chiscom acquisition was brilliant. Chiscom brings in a hundred million dollars in revenue, so a lot of people that are complaining about all oh, this company doesn't generate any revenue, you're going to see a lot more revenue on the books next year once that acquisition um, is kind of finalized and they're able to take that revenue and add it to the books. So Genius Brands has just become way too cheap of a stock and there's a good reason that Shaq bought in. He obviously saw the, Ch the Chizcom merger. He obviously saw the, the future potential and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have bought warrants at $1.55 if he thought that this company didn't have any long-term potential because guys Shaq is worth a lot of money. He's probably worth over half a billion dollars and you really don't get to be worth a half a billion dollars by making too many bad business decisions so guys that's kind of a quick wrap on where i think genius brand stock i'm gonna have to make another video because i'm expecting a lot of price action after shaq gives his presentation uh you know virtual events like this are pretty powerful uh who knows i'm not exactly sure how many people are actually signed up but according to this website it says ld has access to the largest active base of micro cap investors in the world at two million and counting so you know we'll see how many people actually tune in to his keynote and actually genius brands itself is actually presenting on tuesday or the 20 minute like elevator pitch going to be presenting at tuesday at 1 p.m eastern standard time on track one so if you guys want like uh more in-depth analysis be sure at 1 p.m you just can head over to the website it's ve.myseq u i r e dot com or you could just type into google something like squire ld microcap event and you should be able to sign up and register for this event you guys can get a more in-depth presentation hopefully the presentation will you guys get some more information on the company so that's it until next time guys hopefully give you guys a nice price update i think shack and hopefully this investor uh conference will give the stock a nice boost and you know christmas season is coming around a holiday season is big spending for a lot of families spending money on their kids hopefully the stock can reach two dollars or so and i'll just be so relieved when the stock a lot of people leaving comments on my channel said they've lost money in this company so the fact that it can recover its gains for you guys that are uh patient out there like i said do your own due diligence but this could be a good time to average down if you bought the stock at like six dollars five dollars four dollars three dollars still under two dollars a share you can buy some more shares and get your cost per share a lot down and if the stock breaks out past two dollars who knows we could see this company at a billion dollars market cap next year a hundred million dollars extra in revenue is really going to add a lot of long-term value so that's it until next time guys if you enjoy my content please smash the like button hit the red subscribe button to receive more updates and be sure to subscribe to my daily stock watch list i post my favorite five to ten stocks i'm watching monday through friday you can get that by going to investortrip.com newsletter or clicking the link in the description below so that's it until next time guys take care